to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. My choice of soap today is going to be new. It's going to be a uh, Ghost Town Barber by Chiseled Face. This is in their new silk tallow base. I've heard um, a lot of interesting things regarding this base actually. Um, the fact that it's one of its main ingredients is silk hydrosylate, which or hydrosate, hydrosate, it, it's, it's pretty unique, like you don't, you don't tend to see that too much. I did a test lather with this and the texture of the lather is actually incredibly unique. So I'm looking forward to doing a proper shave with this, quite frankly. Um, the, the scent is a barbershop scent, it's an American barbershop scent. Um, I don't like American barbershop scents. For me, they're too sweet, they, they smell a bit synthetic, um, as far as, you know, I'm concerned. I like a European barbershop scent, uh, Seville, for example. I absolutely love the scent of Seville by Barrister and Man. But um, this is a barbershop scent with a twist. This has that, what you'd expect from an American barbershop, but it has a bit of darkness. It's got some, I think it, a little, little hint of smoke. So I'm looking forward to using that. My razor of choice is going to be the Christopher Bradley um, aluminum razor. This is SBB and inside that is a first use Gillette Platinum. And we're gonna go back to the, uh, the flop it in. <laughs> I'm only joking, the, the, the Paladin that doesn't have much backbone. Uh, the flop it in, I know I'm a dick, I'm sorry. So the way they recommend lathering this is pretty wet. So start really wet, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. So I'm making sure the, the brush is wet and dripping with lather. We're gonna load this for 40 seconds. What time is it here? Okay, so we're gonna say, okay, 40 seconds, that's no problem. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna load this for 40 seconds, kinda see how it goes. The, the silk, the addition of the silk is interesting to me. I, I, I don't, don't get me wrong, there's loads of types of silk. Tussa silk is one we commonly see, but not that high up in, in the ingredients list. The fact that it's so high up and so even higher than tallow is quite unusable. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happened. This base had 20, no, 57 testers. So there are 57 iterations of this base before he actually decided to release it. So it goes to show that he really put the testing through its paces. I am, I've never used the old chiseled face base, so I don't have a reference in regards to that. Um, the chiseled face base has been around, the old one anyway, is around for five years, I think. Long, long time. Okay. The soap is mid-firm. It's not any firmer than that. The scent strength on this is probably about mid. It's nothing that's too overpowering. I am not, like like I said at the start, I'm not really a fan of these types of scents. I'm, I'm not a huge um, American barbershop guy, like a American blend and stuff like that. They just don't appeal to me. They... They just smell a bit synthetic for me, and I'm not, not a big fan of that. Um, Let's lather up. Okay, so off the bat, um, it's, just, it's quite wet because I loaded with a very wet brush. <laughs> so let's, uh, scent strength is not mid, it's quite strong. So he suggests lathering for a minute. I'm not gonna do that because that doesn't sound like fun. I'm, I'm gonna lather for as long as I feel I need to. Really not a huge fan of this scent, <laughs> I have to say. The uh, the smoke is definitely more noticeable now than it was initially. It's not my thing. I've seen some people say that this base is drying and they blame it on the silk. So I look forward to, you know, trying that myself and it's important you know a lot of people would have just read those reviews and been like hey i don't really want to bother with it because these people didn't say, said it wasn't very good i encourage you regardless of if you hear bad things about something try your hardest to form your own opinion because 
frankly, what? Frankly, um, you might find that a lot of people don't like something, and you do. I find it of sense constantly. Lots of people complain about a lot of Barrister and Man sense, and I generally like most of the sense he does. So, um, your opinion is forgeable by your own experiences. Don't let anyone else's experience shadow what you think. Because you may miss out on some good experiences if you do it that way. Okay. The so the lather itself is very is pretty damn dense. It's very low structure. It's quite unique actually because it's a reformulative reformulated base or a completely new formulation, I'm not quite sure. I mean it, it's got 57 test patches, so I, I presume it's pretty new. And um it is eighteen dollars, so eighteen dollars for you know four ounces. Not too bad um, by modern standards, if you care about that sort of thing. Wow, it's building a very nice lather, by my standards anyway. It's very low. Very dense. I do wonder what made him go with the silk because for me that's pretty unique. I, I it's not an ingredient that you tend to see in shaving soap, so I wonder if it was just a case of him saying, Oh, this sounds interesting. Let's let's put a test batch up. Let's see how it reacts to the rest of the ingredients. Like it still has your citric acid, citric, st stearic acid, you know, um, your pretty common soapy ingredients, coconut oil, etc. So it's pretty interesting to me. The, the texture of this, the way I would put it, and I spoke to JR about this at Reyes Restores, and he gave me a good analogy. He said it looks like melted ice cream. And I'd have to agree. Again, I, I moan about this brush, but it's made of fantastic lather here. Okay, let's paint a tiny bit of water in. Slightly fearful we're gonna overhydrate it, but that's the point of testing a new base. I think I've gotten to the point, really, where all my lathers look and feel the same. And uh, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's go with that. Let's do the stash. Okay. I've got just over 24 hours of growth. About, I think. Well, wow, okay. The density on this is is, is pretty dense. I'm, I'm not gonna exa I'm not exaggerating either. Let's see what the slickness is like. Wow. Well. Very good. Very, very good. It's a, has a unique face fill. It's dense, 
but it's quite light. Which for me has its own appeal. Feels a bit like a grooming department lather actually. Which you know I'm quite fond of. But again, like I say all the time at this point, is it ever really going to be bad? Like these, this is grooming, de uh, grooming department. Chiseled face has been around for a long time. If he releases something, it's very likely to be something that's at the very least usable. You know, this uh, this is better than usable for me. This is very good. Rinse off the face a little bit. It's very slick, very, very slick. I could do this next pass with no lather, so. Yeah, I, I really can't complain really about the performance of this. So I would say if you're looking for what I would define as a luxury feeling soap, I'm not sure about the post yet, we'll find out about that. We'll find out about the post, obviously later on. But for now, I would say as far as luxury soap experiences go, this is definitely up there. It's a, it is a good, very luxury experience. Let's go cross grain here with the uh, aluminum Christopher Bradley. This is such a, Mindless razor to use. The scent isn't my cup of tea, but for you guys that like those American style barber shops, you will like this. So I don't notice any difference that the silk is making right now. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. But I might experience something a bit different on the post. You saw as well the lather was very easy to make. Which, although I'm more than happy to lather for, for a few minutes, that's a plus for me. Because not everyone else, you know. Performance is very, very good, I have to say. Let's get all the uh, loose, well, it's not so much loose, but residual soap from this. Very well hydrated. 
If I can show you the consistency of this, it is like melted ice cream almost. Okay, let me uh, rub this in. Clean off the uh, the arsenal, and uh, see you guys at the post. I'll be right back. Hey guys, uh, we're not actually gonna do a post. I I misspoke. We're gonna leave this on. I'm gonna give you some a bit of a conclusion here to how I felt the soap performed, and uh, I'll let you go. The post shave on this. It, it, it does feel a little bit drying at the moment. Um, I'll tell you how that progresses in my write up down below. So what we used today, we used um, the new Silk Tello Base by Chiseled Face. Um, performance of the soap during the shave was actually very, very good. Uh, how would I compare it? I'm not gonna compare it, I'm just gonna say it's well above average. It's a very good shaving soap. Good cost as well. I would say it, a cost of four ounce for eighteen dollars is now considered fair. You know, it's similar to your oleos stuff like that. Um, slickness, fantastic. Residual slickness, fantastic. Uh, ease of lather as well is fantastic. This is a drying post shave. I can feel it. I'm gonna give it a little bit. If I feel like my skin needs some help, I'm gonna apply a post shave. I'll tell you if I need to do that. Like I said, but overall the. The performance of the soap is very good. So, rate of choice was the Christopher Bradley aluminum with the SBB plate and the first use Gillette Platinum. My brush was the uh, Floppadin brush, which actually created a, a lovely lather, so I can't really complain. This is the uh, Paladin Ebonite. This is in their Pompeii, I believe. That's either the color or the, um, either the color or the shape. I, I don't quite know, maybe you guys can tell me, but this is a 28 mil knot, huge knot. Uh, the density is a bit lacking for me for such a bloomed out knot, but hey, what, what, what can I say? Um, yeah, be sure to read the um, description, uh, the write up based on what the post shave is. My initial thoughts is it's quite trying, but I guess that remains to be seen. Check out the Razorburn podcast. The link is in the description below. My name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Grim Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.